Hi, this video explains how to set up OpenSim in a box on Amazon's EC2. If you want to know what OpenSim in a box is, then please go to web3dblog.wordpress.com where it's explained in more detail. Basically, it's a virtual world that you can launch in Amazon's cloud. The number of the Amazon machine image is written down here and on the blog. It's not the number that you see in the video because that was an earlier version. So you probably want to have an AWS account first, then you can have access to this console. Basically, if you ever bought a book at Amazon, you have an account there, and then you can apply for the AWS services, which is easy. Basically, you want to launch an instance, and you have to find the right number. Again, it's on the blog. It's not the one that you see here in a moment. And also, uh, you want to go to the community uh, AMIs, um, and not to my AMIs, and uh, you want to have this number. and um, select the uh, the instance that you want to launch then you say you want one instance and you want probably the small uh, uh, version and then you want to have the default se security group and off you go um, it's launching now it takes some time to launch about a minute or so and um, the security group basically is the the, num the number of ports that have to be open uh, for the specific image in my case it's the default group maybe you want to have a, 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 a distinct group for for the open sim in the box um, however however you do it you need to open ports uh, I did this beforehand of course and um, it's a number of ports that's written down in the blog um, open sim usually uses 9000 but free switch uses a couple of uh, of ports that you need to open for the uh, voice integration to work but once you did this uh, you don't have to do this again because it's um, uh, it's saved uh, somewhere on in the cloud. Um, so after some time, the instance is um, is there. Then you then it this changes from starting to running. And um, you can, if you want to, you don't have to, but you can associate an elastic IP address, as it's called. It's basically uh, a DNS entry into uh, Amazon's cloud. Uh, the nice thing about this is that you can have a dynamic DNS entry somewhere, probably on DIN DNS, and um, you can associate the DIN DNS address with the Elastic IP, which associates with the uh, uh, with the actual machine. So um, you have a you have a domain entry somewhere, which is probably nicer than to have a, a very long um, uh, entry from the uh, Amazon uh, data center. So once it's um, it's it's running. You you're good to go. The next thing that you want to do is to uh, do an SSH into the um, instance and uh, start the actual Open Simulator. That was basically it. Have fun and try it out.